Hello and welcome to A Homespun House. My name is Molly and it is such a beautiful sunny day outside. I'm in such a great mood because my grandma Sue, one of my most favorite people in the world, is here with us. She's been spending the entire week with us and um, it's just so fantastic having her here. We've been spending all of our time together knitting, she's been reading, um, just sitting in her presence and being around her and talking and chatting about her life, our life together. Um, is it, it just fills my soul. It's so much fun. So she'll be leaving tomorrow, but um, I've had a whole week with her and it's been fantastic. Um, we had planned on having her in this episode of A Homespun House, but we filmed an entire hour about 45 minutes to an hour of just us chatting. And um, I think that will be a great video on its own. Um, and I think it would be something that would be really fun to do of monthly or bi-monthly with her. So I would love it if any of you are interested in watching chats with Grandma Sue to send her questions. She comes from a very creative background. She owned her own... Um, artisan shop when I was a little girl called a homespun house. If you watch my first episode, you can kind of hear a bit about that story. I think it just says episode one or episode 13. Um, and yeah, she just comes from a creative background. So I think those videos will be really fun. And if you could send a message to contact me via the contact tab at homespunhouse.com with your questions for Grandma Sue, I will write those down and uh, for my birthday weekend, my birthday is September 18th, we will be going to a cabin up north and our family plus Grand Miss Sue uh, will be spending and celebrating my birthday together and I think it would be so much fun to film another Chats with Grandma episode. So today I'm going to talk to you about the things that I have been knitting and you haven't seen me knit too many hats on at a homespun house but I have been so interested and excited about knitting hats lately. Um, Tristan Molina, who is a designer, I don't know if she designs behind her name or behind Dragon Horde Yarns, but she designs so many amazing patterns. And one that I have fallen in love with and I've actually knit before is her Everyday Slouchy Beanie. It is a Ravelry download. I think it's $4, so it's quite affordable, I think. And I have knit one of these last year. I knit it out of, for those of you who know a Homespun House colorways, I knit it out of City Lights fingering in our Gold Stellina base. And then I knit it out of Deegan, which is a really bright, um, beautiful blue uh, mohair. So I wanted to share with you what I am currently knitting out of. I have three of these Everyday Slouchy hats or everyday slouchy beanies on my needles right now. The first one I am making out of our Beltane colorway and I'm using the Gold Stellina for this one too. And I'm knitting the size large. I have a pretty tight gauge. My my need, my stitches on my needles are really loose, but um, I usually have to go down a needle size, which in this case, I really like the texture of the needles that she calls for, so I'm knitting the larger size, which gives me the medium size. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm using a strand of, let me show you the cakes. I am using a strand of Beltane on Gold Stellina. And I've been showing this on my Instagram stories and so many of you have purchased Beltane and Juniper on our mohair. I'm using a strand of each and I'm really, really pleased with the way that this is knitting up. I had recently been at the Sow's Ear, which is a wonderful cafe and yarn shop uh, with my friend Anna. And um, she said that she would love to see how some of my newer colorways knit up on, um, on like a hat. So the way that these newer colorways are dyed up is there are these flashes of just tonality. This is the colorway Crema. I think it's the only 
um, colorway that I brought upstairs. I don't know, I brought up quite a bit. I brought up um, ink blots, and then I brought up Sucker Punch. I currently have this in the dye ovens right now. Um, so this is the, the new style that I've been dyeing my yarns. It's something that I came up with while when we moved to America. And it, in the skein, it looks like it would knit up as a micro stripe, which it doesn't. It isn't dyed up in a traditional micro striping sort of way. That's just kind of how it skeins up. And so the way that it knits up in a hat, you would think if it were to be dyed up in a micro striping sort of way, it would pool heavily. But because it's not, it just, it knits up really really beautifully in a very much so non-pooling way. So I'm really happy with, with the way that these two knit up together. And I'm just enjoying this pattern so much that like I said, I have three of them on the needles right now. <laughs> I am now decreasing for the crown of the head and I should be finished with this hat today. It's a really, really, beautiful, simple hat. It's one that I've just enjoyed so much because I always have socks on the needles and the socks that I knit are really relaxing ones where I can just knit around and around. I can hear my daughter Ruby right now. She's four years old and um, we don't watch television in our home, our children. No TV, no movies, no tablets, nothing like that no screen time, period. But Ruby loves the music of Frozen. <laughs> and my parents took her to a live, um, like theater musical play of Frozen and she knows the story and she loves the music and I can hear her listening to it and singing to it in the living room. And I can only imagine she's either dancing or she's playing with her Playmobil and she's playing out what she believes the story to be. And it's really so much fun to watch, but her sweet little voice sounds so cute. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about, but yes, I always have socks on my, need my needles and they're always stockinette socks. So this has just been a breath of fresh air. It's been something new. It's been a new texture with the mohair in there constantly, which I love. You guys, if you know me, you know that I love adding as much mohair as I can to anything and everything that I am knitting. So it's been fun and I'm excited to get this one off the needles. <laughs> and I would not be surprised if I cast another one of these on because it's double rimmed. It is going to be so warm and cozy and it's not itchy at all. Uh, when I was knitting my no frills pullover, I had a lot of people asking me about the itch around the neck and with the mohair. And like I said, it maybe maybe itches for about five minutes and then it just warms up to your your uh, your skin temperature and it doesn't itch anymore. But this, even on my forehead, it doesn't itch for a second. It is very, very comfortable and very cozy. So this is the first everyday slouchy beanie that I'm knitting, and I have this beautiful Northern Lights Progress Keeper from Lock and Lou, who is my best, best friend, Katie. And she just listed some Snowy Mountain Northern Lights uh, mini rounds. And those are, those are beautiful. The next um, everyday slouchy beanie that I'm knitting on is pretty much to the crown decreases as well. It's not as close as that one. I haven't started decreasing yet. But this is it. It's a lot brighter. It's very, very different than the first one that I'm knitting. This one is actually for me. And I was just knitting it while my grandma and I were at the Sow's Ear for lunch. Try their Grecian Sow salad. It is amazing. Um, I get it without the feta and extra olives. It's delicious. That's another um, thank you to Anna for ordering it and watching, having me drool while she ate it, and every time I've been, I've ordered that. So, um, this is so much fun, you guys. I cannot recommend this pattern more. If you're looking for a hat to knit, if you're looking for, I want to have a hat stash so that when birthdays come, Christmas comes, if there's someone that I really want to give them a hat, or 
I don't know, it's just, it's a fun thing to have around. And growing up, my grandma, Sue, who's currently in our winter garden, probably reading the borrowers. Um, we have the, the box set of that. There are five books and she's on the second one. She finished the first one in one day. So she's really enjoying it. Um, she always had my grandma boxes of um, knits. So she'd have a box of socks, big box. She would have a box of baby booties, a box of baby hats, a box of children's hats, um, a box of wrist warmers, boxes of um, little Christmas ornaments. And I would love to have little boxes of these things. I am a parent of two little girls and I just love the thought of them being able to rummage through these things or um, even just having a little stash built up in them of having those memories of me just always knitting and having boxes of ornaments or um, I don't know, it's just a really, I, I love the feeling that I got when I was little and even now seeing these boxes and we're talking big boxes of hand knit items. It's so much fun and special to look at. Growing up, my grandma was always knitting. You didn't see her with knitting needles. You didn't see her without knitting needles constantly. If she was in the car, if she was waiting for a few moments, if she was, if you arrived at her house, she would definitely, definitely be knitting. Um, and yeah, that's just such a fond memory I have. She doesn't knit very much anymore at all. She's definitely more into reading books and um, she knits from very, very, very seldom time to time, but, um, which is fine. She loves reading and that's kind of her newfound hobby, reading and writing letters. She's always done that, but now very excessively. So I'm kind of starting my little um, box of hats even though all the hats that I'm knitting right now are gifts other than the green one. So this is knit using our non-superwash yarn in the Fresh Sheets colorway. This is our Dale or Dale base, which is my grandmother's middle name. And I think it's my grandma's grandfather's name. And I'm knitting this out of Fresh Sheets colorway, 100% non-superwash merino. And then I am using, this yarn is all tangled up in here. We, like I said, we just came from the, the knitting shop and um, I had all of my knitting projects thrown into this large sized uh, market basket, which I'm so sorry. We don't have many market baskets in the shop right now. I know I mentioned that last week um, and I just have a couple cozy memory baskets, over the shoulder market baskets and shopping totes. Only a very small amount of those left and it still will be a while until we get more of the mini, the um, everyday market baskets, the large market baskets, as well as the small shopping totes. Okay, so I'm knitting this out of electric feel mohair, which really, I'm shocked. My grandma loves this colorway. Um, it's a colorway I would have never looked at and imagined that she loved. So, and fresh sheets and these two together, I think are beautiful. I do think that fresh sheets along with any sort of mohair, I think fresh sheets and whale belly would make the most beautiful everyday slouchy beanie. I also think fresh sheets with any speckled mohair would be stunning. Maybe I'll have to try that for my next hat. But I'm really, really enjoying knitting with non-superwash um, yarns. I am just, I haven't knit with it in so long and I am remembering why I love it so much. When you knit with superwash yarns for so long, they're lovely and brilliant and I really enjoy knitting with them. I'm reminded, however, that I will probably be knitting with non-superwash more. It's, it is so wonderful. So the next Everyday Slouchy Beanie that I am knitting goes a little off of 
um, what's called for in the knitting pattern. And the reason for that is because Robert, my husband, had seen me knitting these everyday slouchy beanies and he said, hey, I want a, a hat. I would love that hat. I love that it's folded over at the bottom for extra warmth. Winters here are freezing, uh, usually, and I want one, but I don't want that fuzzy stuff in my hat. I don't um, want that look for myself. And then I thought, hmm, but I'm really enjoying knitting it with uh, the mohair. But, but it's okay. I mean, I want to knit something that he enjoys. So I had him go down into the shop and pick out a yarn that he liked. And he picked a tonal. And the tonal that he chose is steel. And he has his hat knit out of our non-superwash again. It is our Dale um, DK weight. I chose a DK weight because a fingering and mohair generally knits up to be a DK weight of yarn. And I, again, am living for the sponginess. I wouldn't say stickiness, but it definitely has, gosh, just more of a, oh, it's so squishy and it's a very, very different feeling than um, Superwash yarn. It's so funny. I was just sitting at the coffee shop again with my grandma and I was talking to her about when I originally started knitting. I was always knitting with my grandma Sue and she had a lot of, I think the yarn was called brown sheep yarns. It was a 100% some sort of wool. And um, I remember we went into a yarn shop that I actually ended up working at as I got older called Off the Beaten Path in Monona, Wisconsin. It's not there anymore. And we started looking at the yarns and she, she called me over and had me look at, there was a little cubby of superwash sock weight yarns. I think it was Tofutsi, which was quite popular as I got older. Um, and I could not understand why she was showing these superwash yarns to me. I touched them. My fingers did not like the way they felt. And I had been knitting with wool, quite woolly wool, not nowhere like Lopi, but it was a pretty woolly wool for so long that the superwash yarn just felt terrible to me. Um, but it's funny now because I knit with superwash yarn a lot and uh, it's, it is very, very different than um, non-superwash yarns, but I love both. I, I now have come to love superwash yarns too. I, they will always be something, well, I guess I shouldn't say always that that seems very naive, <laughs> but they are definitely something that, as far as I can see in the future, I will be knitting with. Um, I love them for socks. I, I love them for a lot of different things. So, yep, I've just barely started working on Robert's Everyday Slouchy Beanie. So yes, I'm using DK weight yarn for his and I'm using our non-superwash yarn. And I just think it looks so beautiful. I have been dyeing up oodles and oodles of tonal yarns and um, I'm offering DK weight yarn for all of the tonals. I'm slowly adding them into the shop um, on Merino Cashmere, on the Dale and our Soft Socks. So pretty much all of those are available in sweater quantities uh, for tonals all DK weights on different bases and then fingering weight. So if there's a colorway you've been looking at or the colorway that you've been wanting for something. If you don't see it in the shop, let me know. Um, and they're not custom, so they're already in the shop and it, they're not something that you'll have to wait a couple of weeks to get. They're already there. So if you don't see it in the shop, it's probably because I have just forgotten to list it. Um, but yeah, so that's been really, really fun dyeing up tonals. They're, they're a joy to dye up and they're a joy to knit with. And I hope that you guys enjoy um, me bringing back my non-superwash yarns this fall. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy them so much that they will be something that I will offer all year round 
I know when I was in Germany, the fingering weight non-super wash was quite popular. So like I said, I'm ordering and using and dyeing up the same um, yarns that I was having while we lived in Germany. All right, so I cannot remember if I shared this with you last time. Um, I know I've shared it with you, but I can't remember if I showed you the finished piece. So I finished my grain line cowl by Tammy Gore. And this is how it looks. This is out of Maker's Haven yarn. And I finished, I woven all of the ends. It just turned out so beautiful. I washed it with some blueberry lemonade sock soap by Tuft Woolens and it smells like heaven. It really smells like heaven. It looks like it's really long, but it's not at all. It's the perfect squishiness. It's the perfect width. And I love it to bits. So this was for her like a dream make along. And there were three skeins of 50 gram minis. And I enjoyed this immensely. All right, I have finished my um, pair of socks that I was knitting on last week and I knit these out of the Goblin Dance colorway. This colorway is currently in the shop as a 100 gram skein and a sock set. It is featured on all of our bases. So all DK weights, all fingering weights, mohair, um, along with another one of our uh, Halloween colorways. This will not be available um, probably after October 15th. The first set of orders will go out the last week of September, and then the next set, the next round will go out the second week of October, if I do a second round. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. So we have Goblin Dance, and then we have All Hallows Eve. And um, both of these are available in the shop. But anyway, I'm finished with these, and strangely enough, I do not have a pair of socks on the needles right now. I think I probably should get another pair on the needles as I probably should cast on a pair of socks for my grandma for uh, Christmas. I recently gifted her a pair of socks out of our, oh gosh, I don't remember what colorway I knit them for her out of, but I knit them out of a gold Stellina yarn and she loves them. She said they slide on perfectly, they fit her wonderfully. I had been knitting her socks on size zero, 64 stitches, and they had been a bit difficult for her to get up and down. And she was really having to squeeze her foot and leg into them. And I had her try on a pair of Robert socks um, one of the times that she was here. And he has a 72 stitch cast on on size zero needles. And those fit her perfectly. So this pair that she has on is a Fish Lips Kiss Heel and 72 stitches. So. I think I need to find some yarn to knit her a pair of socks out of. And she had mentioned that that electric feel colorway, that really, really vibrant yellow, she thought it would make an amazing pair of socks. So we'll see. I do have an idea for another pair of socks, but uh, these are knit on size zero needles. And I knit these out of our plump merino base. And I knit these out of a 64 stitch count. Aren't these beautiful? They speckle so nicely. I really love the way that that these speckled up and um, these will be a gift for my sister. So I'm really happy that these are are finished. I feel like I knit them up pretty quickly and I really really enjoyed knitting on these. I have a bit of yarn left and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet if anything. So I just mentioned that I have another idea for socks. And usually for St. Nicholas, I gift um, for Robert around that time, a pair of socks sometime in the Advent season. And I think he would really love a pair of socks knit out of our Oblati colorway, which is named after a Beatles song, really fun one. Um, he really likes this undyed, look of yarn with uh, speckles. So Obladi has really, really bright, vibrant speckles and it's all of the colors that he loves. He really 
likes this hot pink and then with the blues so i'm thinking about knitting that out of our soft sock so maybe you'll see that um, the next time i film an episode and i think it would have to have contrasting cuffs and toes because that's the way he likes his socks I like this one i knit this cuff and toe out of a 20 gram mini from makers haven it was out of one of my advent calendar minis which are still in the shop homespun house advent calendars and the numbers are dwindling there are only a few left and um, i won't be listing more when they're finished so here these are. I just dyed up two of the two more colorways for the advents. I think I have five colors left to go. And gosh, you guys, I'm I'm enjoying it. I feel like every year I get it in hand a little bit more. And um, I mean, my sister is helping me uh, skein them up, put labels on them, and she's putting them in their little places where they belong. And uh, it's made it very, a very enjoyable process. So, um, yes, that is that. And I think that's what I've been working on. I finished this up. I finished the socks and I've cast on three hats. I haven't done much a work on my um, Marley shawl by Andrea Mowry, which I feel like I should probably pick up and um, knit a bit on. So here is this, it is um, unicorn dust. And then this size, it side is Weasley's Wizard Weezes. And it will be a beautiful shawl when it's finished. So I've been enjoying this, but I probably, I probably knit an inch or two on it since I last filmed and then I just became obsessed with the everyday slouchy beanie i've really been enjoying knitting that so my sister um i think she might be off for a bike ride thank you guys so much for all of the positive encouraging wonderful feedback that you offered um on the last episode of a homespun house where my sister was in we spoke very 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 minimally about her 15 years living as an addict and recovering addict, a little bit about overdose awareness. Um, I feel like a very common misconception about overdoses is that they are on purpose to suicide. Um, most overdoses are accidental. They were never, ever, ever intended. Um, but it was really great to chat with her about that. And um, you all were so kind to her and to me. So thank you for that. Um, we are doing a fundraiser for some of the AA or NA clubhouses in the area, um, funding for safe places for um, recovering addicts to go and um, those uh, skeins of yarn are still open if you would like to sign up and help us fundraise and donate money to uh, local clubhouses in the area. Amy will be dyeing that yarn, which I think is, makes it really special uh, this next upcoming week. And then we'll probably be shipping those out um, the following week. So in about a week and a half's time, those will be shipped out. So. Uh, Amy is working on a hat, which is so much fun. We had a couple of you asking if she knits and she has been knitting. I think, um, goodness, how long has she been knitting on this hat? Maybe two weeks, three weeks. And she's knitting, I think it's called On the Sea Train by Espace Tricot. And uh, yeah, so it's a free pattern on Ravelry. It calls for chunky yarn. I think you cast on 90 stitches. She's now at the decreases of the hat and she doesn't have much yarn left. So I am kind of wondering how I'm going to guide her in this. If now I'll just have her decrease rapidly. This is all that she has left. And it's chunky yarn. So it's not like there isn't much of this left. <laughs> so 
So she has a really sweet Maker's Haven stitch marker here and then a really fun Super Super Miniatures um, Progress Keeper here. This is a Galaxy Donut that she did. My grandma said it looks like a lifesaver. <laughs> so there's that. Um, Elodie's been knitting a little bit too, but I'll share that with you maybe once she gets a little bit more done on that. I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I am adding to the shop today. And there's some really fun kits. There's some really fun kits. <laughs> Not funny. Uh, I lived in Germany for about a little over 10 years and Germans often say funny instead of fun. Like we had a really funny time. We And they mean fun, enjoyable, not laughable, hilarious. Anyway, these are some fun kits. This is our holiday kit. And this has uh, the colorways, Caribbean, uh, cocktail, sunrise, palm trees, and fruit smoothie. Fruit smoothie is definitely my favorite of the bunch. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is a total of 460 meters or 425 yards, five 20 gram minis equaling 100 grams. And then we have this kit, which I am obsessing over. This is a one of a kind kit. One of a kind as in I dyed a batch of these. I think there are 15 of them. And it has all of these beautiful minis. These are 20 gram minis. And I think they're beautiful. Depending upon the base, it's between 800 and 900 meters or 880 yards or about 950 yards. So these are just beautiful. I adore these so much. We do not have many of the Harry Potter minis left, just a handful. And I have two, um, two sets of DK weight left. So I did dye up some of these sets on DK weight yarn. So if you are hoping for a DK weight, please put it in your notes. Um, it's possible that you might add it to your notes and they're already gone, but um, there are two DK weight 20, 20 gram kits left. And these feature all of the Harry Potter colorways that we have in our shop just on 20 gram skeins. And again, I won't be dyeing these for quite a while. Um, I would guess in the new year is when I will be offering those as full sets again. Something else that I added to the shop again are our 20 gram rustic minis set. And um, these are just so much fun. You can use them for shawls. It kind of, to be honest, goes along with the shirt that I have on right now. But this is just a really beautiful autumnal one. I think it's, it's great for people who um, love those sorts of colors. So I wanted to show you some of the colors that I think are quite autumnal that we have in the shop right now. One of them is Comfort. I knit my little cabin's uh, pullover out of this colorway. It's a pattern by Caitlin Hunter. And then we have Barley. Silver. Let me try and hold these a bit better. This is steel, I'm sorry. This is the same colorway I'm knitting Robert's hat out of. And then we have Copper Kiss. And then, I thought I just saw my brother driving outside. And then we have Velvet. So these colorways honestly look beautiful together or on their own or paired with um, other things. I think these would also make gorgeous tonal everyday hats. If you added mohair to it, you could add mohair that's the same color, or you could also add a silver toned mohair or a fresh sheets mohair. I guess those are probably the recommendations that I would suggest for the tonals, either their own color, a cream colored like fresh sheets or even rose gold or antique um, or fresh or uh, silver. So a gray toned would be perfect. All right, so some colorways. I already showed you three of them, but um, some that I wanted to feature today. Well, we have All Hallows Eve, which I've already showed. 
And then we have these three, which are dyed using my new dye technique. Not new, I've been doing it now for probably half of a year. We have crema, and then in the middle, sucker punch. And on this side, ink blot. My grandma just told me today that when she was little, they had a dog named Inky. So that's kind of fun. I think every time now I see this colorway, I'm going to think of her, of her dog named Inky. And then we have Puddle Jumper. This is a really pretty colorway. I think it's one of Katie, her favorite colorways. Um, we've, we've done two shows together and each of the shows I have a shawl knit out of this yarn and Ash, which is a really, really super dark gray. Um, I have it knit out of those two colors and she wears it every time and she loves it. So, um, so yeah, we have all of our Halloween at Hogwarts yarn and charm clubs have sold out. Thank you so much for being excited about those. Those are going to ship the last week of September. And now we have all of our Christmas at Hogwarts yarn clubs up in the shop. Those are also limited and they will be shipping um, internationally two weeks before November, two weeks before the beginning of December and a week before the beginning of December for people living in America. I want people to have them come December because I think they'll be a fun way to knit an everyday slouchy beanie or a pair of socks or add them with a tonal for a shawl, whatever you have in mind for it. But the charm is, um, it's very intricate, which makes me excited. It's by Sucre Sucre Miniatures. And um, it's one that I have thought a lot about and I hope that you guys adore it. I know that those of you who received their return to Hogwarts Yarn and Charms, it seems like most of you really, really loved it and were happy with it. And I think those of you who purchased the Halloween at Hogwarts, you guys are going to freak out when you see the Yarn and Charm. <laughs> and I, I know without a doubt that the Christmas at Hogwarts, um, I feel really great about sending those out. So I hope that you guys love those and, um, I can't wait to get them to you. So now I'm about to head into the winter garden, sit with my grandma Sue. Um, she could even be taking a nap, to be honest. It's kind of her nap time. So I'll probably drink a little bit of my miel, which I got at the Sousier. And that is a latte with honey and um, cinnamon. So I'm gonna go and sip on that and go just and sit in the room with her and knit. And then as soon as uh, Elodie and Ruby get home, we will be making some chocolate chip cookies, which I promised the girls we'd make today. I really wonder if they'll want to sit inside and make those cookies with me because it is so fantastic outside. I think it's about 21 degrees Celsius. No idea what that is in Fahrenheit, sorry. I think they'll want to swing and ride their bikes. Uh, super fun. So I can't wait to get to knitting and um, I look forward to talking with you guys again soon. Bye.